So guys, you know like you have the clock app on your iPhone and like this is what it looks like. Uh, here it is right here and using this app you can turn on some alarms, you can try to like set a timer, stopwatch, whatever it is, but during or after the time elapses or in the morning the alarm is supposed to wake you up and the timer is supposed to ring so it lets you know about certain stuff. And the thing is that the volume for it cannot simply be like engaged or like set in here. You just cannot decide how loud the timer sound is going to be or how loud the alarm is going to get in the morning because even though you have some settings in here you can choose the repeat label sound whatever but you cannot just set the volume and this is pretty interesting because you would expect it there but it's simply not there instead you have to go to the settings and here in the sounds and haptics here is a slider or like hidden setting thing which pretty much means the ringtone and alert volume so this is a the slider which pretty much applies to your incoming phone calls to your alarms timers and all the stuff which isn't content that you watch because you know right here if you swipe down you have the slider right here but this one applies to the uh, YouTube videos you watch, to the music you listen to. So it doesn't apply to other things like the alarm or timers. So this is the most important section here. You have to slide it to perhaps make it louder or to lower the sound or the volume. Here is where you do it. However, this is not the only thing because you have also one button or toggle called change with buttons. When you enable this and come back to the home screen, you know, like you have the uh, volume rockers on the side of the iPhone. When you press the volume up and volume down, you can see that the ringer gets engaged. So it no longer changes the volume of your content. It is no longer correlated with this slider, but instead it changes the, the ringer. So in case you always want to have access to it quickly, let's say that you choose or set a lot of timers and alarms and you want to quickly be able to change the ringer volume, you can do it right from the home screen using the buttons on the side of the iPhone. It's good because it doesn't limit you in any way. You can still swipe down from the control center to change and adjust the other type of volume. So you're not limited. I wouldn't say that, but this is just how it works. Anyways, I don't want to make this video any longer than it really needs to be. I kind of thought that this is the most important thing you can take out of this video. And if you enjoyed it, if you found it helpful, make sure to subscribe to the Fox Tech YouTube channel, which is actually full of tutorials and full of videos, which I think you're going to find very useful. And also check out the next video right here, which I think you're going to find valuable as well. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you guys in the future video. So stay tuned for that.